It's actually been quite a while since we've heard anything around Fallout 4's Creation Club, and I actually have to specify, because we have just heard about the potential for a Fallout 76 Creation Club, link to that video in the little eye if you want to hear more about that, but today we are going to be looking at some new teased images of what's coming in Fallout 4's Creation Club, and some of this actually looks pretty cool, it's the kind of thing that I think some of you may actually think about buying. But even beyond that, we also get some interesting details around the future of Creation Club and where it's actually heading. But without further ado, let's actually look at what was teased and what you could expect coming to Fallout 4. The first thing to get announced that I actually could see several people being interested in is the Manuel Rifle Set. This is interesting because I immediately thought, oh, it's a Manuel Rifle, it must be based off something real, but in reality that's actually totally made up for this mod, even though the two weapons are almost definitely based off real life things, or at the very least parts of real life weapons. Either way, it is described as a new long rifle, including a carbine variant, of which we seemingly can see both of in the background but featuring a high degree of customizability. But also pretty interesting, it's described how there's a quest to actually go and unlock this, in all likelihood probably pretty similar to previous Creation Club quests, but this one does have an interesting ending. It says, upon completion, you'll unlock a decoration or pet for your workshop. Now of course, there's been several pets added in with Creation Club, I actually made a video a while back about how Fallout 4 was turning into The Sims, but it's actually pretty interesting, I kind of like it, and I'm curious to see what kind of pet you actually get. We also do hear about Neon Flats. In effect, with this is described as is two new apartments in Good Neighbor. I actually like the way they handled this. Basically, both of these apartments are in the same building, but one of them is going to come fully furnished, while the other one is going to come empty. Also included with this, you're going to get a variety of new workshop items. They describe three dozen here, as well as a new outfit and pistol, although those are apparently just retextures of existing assets. Maybe it's just based off these screenshots, but I actually feel like these apartments have a bit of a noir feel, but also a futuristic noir feel. I think for a lot of people that played this game, they're going to really like this, especially with it being positioned in Good Neighbor. I know some of the previous apartment releases through Creation Club have actually been fairly big hits, and I'm always surprised by how popular they are, and even the modding scene that actually sprouts out around them, adding additional features to the creation. Then we have one that I actually think will be fairly popular, that would be Quake Thunderbolt. If you did play Quake growing up, this probably looks pretty familiar to you. It's taking the weapon originally from the Quake games and adding it into Fallout 4. As it appears in Fallout 4, I'm fairly confident it might to some degree be a port from Quake Champions. Not that that's a bad thing, because as you can see by these screenshots, it looks pretty cool. And even in Fallout 4, it is featuring several customization options. Apparently, you're going to have things like Chain Lightning, probably pretty similar to some of the other weapons you see in Fallout 4 that already have that, but also things like Hypercharge, so it'll do extra damage to wet enemies, which is just kind of a cool feature. Feature. Although I feel like we need like water balloons to fully take advantage of that. In game though, this actually looks pretty cool based on these screenshots at the very least. I think weapon mods in general are just one of the most popular for Fallout 4, and I feel like with some of these ported weapons, or what is likely a ported weapon, Bethesda is uniquely positioned to actually deliver something pretty interesting and cool, definitely worth a download, since they could just port it from their other games even though a regular mod author can't do that. And last but not least, we do have Vault Suit customization. This was originally planned for the next batch of releases, but actually got pushed back because they found a bug with it, which actually means it's getting quite a bit pushed back to later this summer although I'll touch more on that in a second. What this is going to do is actually add in a variety of customization options to, well, vault suits. The two main options around this are being able to actually change the vault suit number from 1 to 120, so you could have some of those iconic numbers such as 101, vault 76, and obviously everything in the middle, but even further you're going to be able to actually change the color of the vault suit itself, with seven new customization options being available. And even beyond that, there's actually two separate styles of vault suit here. You can see the more traditional one that you're used to in Fallout 4, and that will also come with full customization options now, but then you also do have the more old school look that you're probably used to from previous Fallout games. This is one of those things that is definitely cool, but I feel like it has to be the right price. It's definitely one of those things that probably had a lot of work go into it, actually making all of those various numbers work, as well as the various color customization options, but at the same time, I think most people who get this will just want to use one color with one specific number, and I could see this one in particular maybe being a little bit on the pricier side, while people won't necessarily want all that customization. Outside of that, we also do get a comment as to when we'll see the next releases for Creation Club. Things have definitely slowed down now, it's basically to the point where we're seeing one new release per quarter, and that actually 
will seemingly continue. Typically, we actually see the items go live a week or so after the new tease is up. This tease went up a day and a half ago, and everything I just showed you will be included except those vault suits again since they were delayed. But it also is described how there's going to be new content releasing later this summer, so probably in August or so, and then also during the holiday season. Those are some pretty significant gaps. I feel like last year and even somewhat the year before, we saw new releases like every month or really probably every two months or so, but now we're getting to roughly four a year, which is a notable decline from that. I'm sure this is largely a byproduct of a lot of players moving on to Fallout 76, but again, now that we do have rumors of Creation Club coming to Fallout 76, I can certainly see the potential of this program living on in other games. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for the new content coming to Fallout 4. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but I also know a lot of you guys do have interest in what happens to Creation Club, where it's going next, and really how long it lasts, because you have to imagine that it won't be around forever. If at some point we get mod support for Fallout 76, I'm sure a lot of the modding community around Fallout 4 will move over, at the very least to just try out those new mods. Either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I have a lot of upcoming stuff around E3 in the next few days, but you should also expect a video looking at all of these new items as they eventually do get released, probably in the next week or two. As always, again, I thank you all for watching, and with that, I hope to see you all next time. Later.